I made this robot for me, not for you. You can have it for fun, I don't care. You can borrow it, you can use it. I teach you how to use it. Use it smart, don't use it with money you don't have. If you can use it on money you don't have, then you probably stole it. So use it, because then you can use it. No, that was a joke, obviously, but don't use this on your saved money that you don't want to lose, because we are not sure that this bot will give profit. This bot just does one thing for me, and that's making sure that at the end of the day, I have the same amount of value in every coin on the website. Hi everybody and welcome back to the Bitcoin Day Trader channel and today we're going to play with the bot that I created a year ago. I haven't used it in a couple of months, I think in a half a year or something, because the market wasn't really a bullish market. It was a bearish market, as they call it. And so the last time I did reinstall my PC and I never got the trade bot working again. So I'm gonna try and reinstall it again on this Windows PC. I thought let's make a video of it so you guys can see how I do it. I totally forgot how I did it, to be honest. I haven't done this in a while. I know I did create a video a half a year ago about it. Let's just start where we should start, the GitHub. Because in the GitHub, I can find the Poloniex trade bot. And this is the Poloniex trade bot, so I'm sure that I have to download this entirely. So let's download the zip. Hello, where's my zip? Here's my zip. Let me read this. Okay, install Python free. Select add to path. So I wrote it for Python free. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so let's get Python free first. Python free. So go to python.org, python free, download python free.8. I don't know, let's try it. I don't know if it works, but I'm quite sure, quite sure. Install it now, add it to path and customize the, yeah, we need pip installed, yeah, we need everything. Install for all users, environmental variables, yeah, that's very important. I don't want it to be installed over there, because it's way smarter to install that all on Python. Let's call it Python 3.8. Yeah, that's a good idea. No, I don't care. No, not a little close. Okay, so that was the Python part. Typing command. Okay, let's do that. Let's open CMD. Let's just choose to run as administrator, just to be sure. If the pip installation did go right, then this should work. Copy it. Right click to paste, press enter. Pip update which is important. So now I have to type in command pip free install something like that. So let's just do that. I trust in my own tutorial. I'm quite sure that it works. Even though I'm not sure. I haven't done this in a while. Adjust in the script all coins in BTC Pi. In line your Poloniex key here, your Poloniex secret here. In command navigate to Poloniex trade bot folder and run the script. Okay. First, we need to get ourselves our Poloniex key. So as you know, this, this, this is a Poloniex trade bot, of course, so we need to go to Poloniex. Poloniex. Hey, if you work for Poloniex, hit me up, man. Let me log in. Because I made so much, uh, was well, that commercials that I make? I talk a lot about your website, so hit me up, man. My two-factor authentication. I haven't been on this website for a while, man. So how am I doing? Am I doing all right? Am I doing fine? I know that a couple of months ago I ended it with exactly half a Bitcoin on this website because I was like, yeah, let's keep it safe. Let's keep a couple of coins, a half coin and everything more than that. Let's just get it off that website just to be safe a little bit because you always got to take your profit, man. Don't gamble too much with your profits. Okay, what are we supposed to do now? You need to have the two-factor authenticator on to be able to do this and we need the Epic keys. So you go to Epic keys. I don't even have an Epic key yet. So, okay, let's create a new Epic key. So they want you to use your, your authenticator. So give it your code and submit it. Please check your email. Then you gotta check your email and it expires in 15 minutes. So hurry up. Access confirmation. Then you say, yes, man, man, I'm quite sure that it's okay. Okay, so you will be automatically redirected to the Epic page. And here you get your Epic key, which we need and your secret, which I'm blurring in this video. Never, but never if you're using my, my, my bot, never click on enable withdrawals. They say it's here, but don't do this because you don't want it to be automatically done unless you are very sure on what you're doing and you need to be a way better programmer than I am. So you probably won't even watch this video. So if you're watching this video, never click on enable withdrawal because that means that you can withdraw with the Epic key and the secret. Right now, we only have enabled trading. So this is very important. This enabled trading will 
only enable trading on the website so no withdrawal so they cannot steal your money the only thing if some hacker for some reason for some, I don't know if somebody has this epic key then they only can do trades for you so they can say oh I want to sell the Bitcoin for dollars or I want to buy some Bitcoin or doggy coins or whatever coin is on the website at that moment but you cannot withdraw it so they cannot steal your money they could just play with your money let me grab this epic key yeah put it in line 29 on all coins in Bitcoin let's go to the folder remember we did it a while ago and now it's called the trade bot master so we have to extract it first let's open it oh, same name I really hate it when this happens let's put it back one folder it's not very important what we're doing but okay let's open this with notepad and just like it says here we need to go to line 29 so let's search for 29 here we see 29 your Poloniex key here and between the quotations we paste it so put the secret here and press save let me check are there any coins that I had to recently delete that aren't here anymore welcome to Polonia BTT customers are able to deposit and trade BTT so there's a new coin so we have to add this new coin as well it's called BTT it's the BTT BTC okay let's add BTT and it's a B so we have to put it here because I like to have it on a alphabetical order. It's called BTT. Now we have BTT here as well. Save it. Uh, is it still the correct list? Quickly check. Order item bad BCH SV dash DCR. I think it is DGB. No, because I remember that Digibyte was deleted. Yes, there's no more DGB. I had to delete that. I haven't done that. And what the hell is this? Ether BNT, a new coin? Let's just add it as well. ETH BNT. I've never heard of it. Packed coin was deleted. Okay. Kentucky Northern Chicken. Made coin. Made coin is deleted as well. Well, it's good that we're checking this because if we would use this with the wrong coins, then it will give you an error. But Omni is gone. See? I have to delete Omni coin as well. Whoa, the, all the V's are gone. What the hell is going on? TRX? I haven't seen TRX. So Strat and after Strat is supposed to be TRX. Then VTC is gone. XPM is gone. Apparently it's gone. <sighs> so that's the new list. Make sure you have the right list. Okay, we have the right list. Key and our secret. Save this. It should already work. I can't believe, I can't believe that it already works. I'm quite sure that it's a lie. I, I gotta be lying, this can be working already. But we're gonna try it out anyway. So we have to go to this folder, that folder where the, the all coins in btc.py file is in. So let's select the entire name of that folder. Press C, Ctrl C I mean, a couple of times. So make sure you copied it, press CD for change directory. Right click with your mouse and go to that directory. So make sure you are in this directory. And now it says here, now I'm telling myself here, run this script, all coins in Pi. This will start working here and help me buy it. Let's check it out. So let's check what we have here. Let's put this to all estimated value. I want to see all coins so in Bitcoin. And here we see the list of coins and the amount of value that I have on a parent coin. So as you see, BTT was a coin that I did not add yet. How do I get money on this other ETDBH? What is this? How do I have this smart token? How do I get, why did I get this? Was this a present from Poloniex? What's going on? Because I haven't bought this. As you can see, it wasn't in my trade bot, so I never knew that it was here yet. Apparently we got it for free. Well, thank you, Poloniex. But we're gonna try out the robot now. So make sure that you are in the right folder. That's a smart idea. So press directory and make sure that you can see all coins in btc.py here. So we're gonna write Python and space all coins in BTC and then you have to write 0.01 I guess to make it 10 millibits as you see here on this website I have 0.0015 on BCHSV so let's just test it out to be 001 one millibit for every coin which means buying a lot of coins please work it's already working wow how awesome am I? How awesome am I that I made this, this this all by myself? I did create this all by myself. I didn't steal anything. Um, I wrote the entire script myself. I even wrote a tutorial in six small steps. 
and if you can't get it to work then you did something wrong with um, the uh, appy uh, part so it is working it's buying and as you can see you see it happening here in the, in the screen let's just refresh the coins so it's alphabetically ordered so it will go through this order and as you see it had to buy buy one third of a millibit buy one tenth of a millibit and then it's buying it and as you can see it's all starting to become one millibit big 0 0.001 bitcoin for every coin oh, it's already worked. it was so easy why didn't i do this last week why didn't i do it i thought it was gonna be a lot of work but it's definitely not a lot of work wow okay so it's working awesome and of course if you run the robot and you, you change this input here this 0 0.001 into any other number then it will try and buy or sell to end at that amount of worth here because that's just the way i trade i made this robot for me not for you you can have it for fun i don't care you can borrow it you can use it i teach you how to use it use it smart don't use it with money you don't have if you can use it on money you don't have then you probably stole it no that was a joke obviously but don't use this on on your saved money that you don't want to lose because we are not sure that this bot will give profit this bot just does one thing for me and that's making sure that at the end of the day I have the same amount of value in every coin on the website I don't know that's just how I prefer to trade the reason why is because if I come back tomorrow at the same time as it is today now it's 8 o'clock in the evening if I check back tomorrow at 8 o'clock I can see that the changes represent exactly what I made or lost because we are 24 hours ahead in time i lost a little bit now because transactions cost money so make sure that you don't do too much transactions God, i just said that. so it's never smart to do big transactions that's why i made this robot as well because before i sold all the coins and then i bought again to make sure that i have for instance that one millibit or 10 millibits on the website but that's not smart because you make a lot of transactions and transactions cost money so that's why I made this robot to calculate that small little difference and buy or sell the differences that you have. Good story, bro. So we have a very interesting situation here. We have Bitcoin shrinking comparing to other coins. Well, in the meantime, Bitcoin is growing compared to dollars. And that's why I have this robot running today. And I'm a little bit late. I should have started a week ago, I guess, because I, I already calculated because you should always calculate the amount of profit that you should have had because that makes you very happy, you know, Th that you know what you didn't make, that you could make, just like we're all doing here on this channel. Ten years ago, we didn't buy Bitcoin. Ten weeks ago, we didn't buy Bitcoin. And ten days ago, I didn't start trading again. But now we're going to do it today. So glad you're here. I hope you guys learned something new today. I hope you checked it out. And if you did check it out, let me know it by giving this video a big thumbs up. And if you did not use my, um, my trade bot, then let me know it by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you thought this video was stupid, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, see you guys later. Tot de volgende keer. That was Dutch for see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. Um, let me update while we're here this script because we have changed something in the script make sure that everybody knows this because it is important you know because you have to make sure that it is up to date it is all about that coin list here we go now it's updated